Hello. Welcome to another presentation by thefreecollege.org. Um, this is part two in a series on editing Wikipedia. And today we're going to be dealing with references and citations. And um, by the end of this video, if you're able to do as I instruct in, in the video, then you will be able to have more successful postings of information on Wikipedia and less things getting reverted. So, as you can see on the top right hand corner, um, I am logged in to Wikipedia at this point in time. And I'm going to go back to the William Shakespeare uh, Wikipedia page to give you an example of where the citations and references are on a Wikipedia page. So, at, in the top paragraph, you'll notice that after the word dramatist, there's a number two in brackets. Now, when I highlight it, I'll be able to see reference information as to where that uh, the information in the previous sentence came from. Now, this obviously by clicking it, I come down here, and this is at the bottom of the page where it says citations. Sometimes it says references. Here's another. Here's a reference section. So what we want to do is we want to play with a few of a few of these things in order to improve Wikipedia and to get our information out. So I'm going to go to my sandbox and I'm going to click edit on the top right. I'm going to click in the box and then I'm going to type in two of two of this symbol type citation space needed and then that as well I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click save page now you'll notice that that says citation needed now why is that important? Well, we're going to click edit and we're going to click in the box and I'm going to just type a sentence that uh, the camel is an animal that can lift twice its body weight. Now, a lot of people will look at that sentence and say, well, I don't know if that's possible. Some people might say it could be possible, but I really would need to see something more in order to believe that. Now, that's probably ridiculous, but if I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and I just want some more information, I'll put citation needed afterwards on a Wikipedia page, and then I'll click save page. and it'll appear like this. So as you're reading Wikipedia, you'll notice other people have done this and at this point you'll be skeptical of the sentence because it may not necessarily be true. So, how do you fix this? Let's say that I opened a tab in my browser and went to google.com and I thought about some of the services that Google offers for research. Well, let's say that I went to books.google.com and I typed in camel lift or lift body weight and I hit enter. Now let's say that this was actually a link, which it is not. It is actually a book that will actually say right here in the highlighted area or somewhere on the page Oh, and a camel can lift half its body weight. And what I'll do is I'll click the link in the in the uh, search uh, bar, and I'll con I'll hit Control C. I'll go back in here. I'll click Edit if I see this on the page, and then I'll remove this by highlighting it, pressing backspace, and then I'll hit this symbol. REF this symbol 
I'll hit control V to put my source and I'll hit the symbol again a slash REF and this symbol so what will happen now is I'll go to save page and there it is so if I click if I was to hypothetically continue editing Wikipedia and use citations then my information is more likely to stick and if information doesn't look like it makes sense or may not be true but I can't really be entirely sure I'll put citation needed so that someone else will come along who knows more about the subject something important to note and I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna right click select all and just get rid of all this I want you to know about the letters TLD T as in Tango, L as in Lima, D as in Delta TLD stands for top level domain what does that mean? well if you were to take information from what would be considered a valid source you would rate it like this a .gov website will have the most relevant information a .edu may have equally or greater or lesser um, value uh, as far as the validity of the information and books and scholarly articles would, would be next after that you would more than likely resort to news stories but what I mean when I say news stories is that it is not a blog website it is not any form of a blog <clears throat> it is not a website that is a news source that is not widely accepted by the general public and this means uh, digital publications like Infowars these are the types of things that will not qualify so if you want to get started with editing Wikipedia and understanding how valid the information is, please see this video before judging. Thank you.